guys i wanted to come to you guys with my labor and delivery story and just explain to you everything that's been going on with me and how i'm dealing with having another child in the home and pretty much how i'm managing three other kids and sleep with the newborn so um let's just start at my doctor's appointment on november 16th i went to the doctor's I went to the doctor's office to get my membrane stripped and I was pretty much, I think, 37 weeks in two days. And um, when I got into the doctor's office, he said he could not reach my cervix, but he was able to get a little bit, but not enough to where he feels it would jumpstart labor. And the reason I had my membrane stripped when I was 37 weeks is because I have to get hip adjustments every two weeks because when I get pregnant, and the way my uterus sits, apparently it sits like at an angle and it causes my hips to throw out every so often. So I get that readjusted. And um, for a month I hadn't went, which caused my, my, um, my whole left side to be immobile. So I was not using the left side of my hip. I was just using my right. And I really didn't notice, I knew it hurt, but um, I have son over there on the bed and I think he's going to wake up in a second, but, um, I was only using my right side. That's where I was putting more of my pressure and I didn't realize it. I just knew I was in pain, but that's besides the point. Um, so yeah, that's why I got my membrane stripped or at least attempted to. So he said that I should go home and try some home remedies and see how that helps. If not, I could come back next week and get my membrane stripped. Let me grab son. <laughs> Baby. Okay. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. Okay. So, um, I went home and I tried castor oil. And first I did it with the orange juice. And um, I did it that way. And by that night, let's see, I got home about 3 o'clock and I did that. And that night around 9 or 10, my contraction started. They were pretty painful, but they kind of died off. I think it's because I was laying down instead of, you know, up and moving and getting my blood flowing. So I decided, you know, I only took two tablespoons. So it was a safe enough dose to where I could do it the next day. So the next day I went to the store and I got all the ingredients for the midwife's um, brew. And the only one I didn't get was the lemon for Bonna tea. I just switched it out and got lemon ginger. And um, let's see, I took that. Let's see, when did I take that? I want to say it was around noon. And by three o'clock, I still didn't feel anything. Um, but I did, I did, I made the whole picture and I put it in ice and I don't know if that helped out um more but by that night like nine o'clock and I didn't think it was gonna work but I was up and moving I was going I was dancing I was cleaning the house you know making sure everything was in place so I was like this baby's coming out today he got his eviction notice we're ready the house is clean you know laundry's done you know kids drawers are nice and separated because normally it gets mixed up and um, my fiance finding clothes is he struggles, but I want to make sure I had the drawers um, situated so he could ease, easily find stuff. And by nine o'clock, I was having contractions so painful that I literally started tearing up. And I was like, okay, you know, this is it. And then by nine thirty, they started to die down. I'm like, no, there's no way. So I get up, and me and the kids are marching in the living room around the table. It was funny, but was like marching and was like stop and then we did some squats and then the, they picked back up lord they picked back up um by 10 o'clock and you know we called to get a babysitter for the kids because they had already went to bed and we got a babysitter and i was like no i can't wait for her to get here i gotta go to the hospital now so i drove myself to the hospital and um I'm texting my fiance the whole time I'm there and I'm like, you know, um, I just gave them a urine sample. I'm 
hooked up to the monitors and I'll let you know, but I mean, there's no rush. So he sat here with the babysitter, which was his auntie, and um, they were just sitting here at the house talking and whatnot. And then all of a sudden, the doctor comes in and was like, no, um, I think you're having this baby tonight um, because every time you have a contraction, the baby's heart rate drops. And we can't not have that. So I'm like, okay, so now what? Are we waiting for my service to dilate? Um, because I'm having a C-section. Do we really need to wait for my uh, service to dilate? And he goes, no. So he called my doctor. My doctor was literally there within like eight minutes or so. But he was like, okay, we're doing this. So I called my fiance. I was like, are you on your way? He's like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm in the parking lot now. I'm like, well, hurry up because they didn't clean me off and they're taking me back. Um... So we get back into um, the um, surgical room. It's okay. We get back in the surgical room and they're doing my epidural. I'm like, no, we cannot start this without my fiance here. He cannot miss it. This is our last baby and he's not going to miss this. I was like, no, he's here. He's out there, but we have to do the epidural first. I'm like, okay, just make sure he's here because you guys aren't cutting this baby out without him being here. So I get my epidural and it seemed like this time everything went by a lot faster. And I also got my tubes tied, which they say um, delivering a baby takes, um, through, through C-section, takes like 30 to 45 minutes with a tubal. Um, but some, for some reason, it felt like it was a lot shorter than my other ones have been. And I had already shaved, and I think that's why it didn't take as long, because I already shaved, and they, I didn't have to do all that extra stuff. But... Um, I did not know this until I went for my, what am I thinking of? My postpartum update, but apparently during the C-section, I had my tubes tied. I know I had my tubes tied. What am I trying to say? When I had my tubes tied, I guess the right side started bleeding and he couldn't get it to stop. So he just took the whole right fallopian tube out. So I no longer have a right fallopian tube, which, you know, doesn't bother me. I would have liked to known when I, you know, after I got out of my C-section, someone could have told me a nurse, something, but no one ever told me. I did not know until I got to my doctor's appointment um, the following time. And the doctor didn't even tell me. He came in and checked on me after I had my C-section, but... I don't know. I'm not sure why nobody told me, but yeah. So, um, after that, um, I got to hold the baby for an hour, you know, skin to skin. And then they put me in my room and, um, the baby was only, let's see, he was only four pounds in four pounds. I'm having a brain fart. Four pounds and 14.5 ounces. So he was small, which really worried me because I thought, I was like, okay, he's not a preemie. Why is he so small? My other ones was never this small. My last one was born at 37 weeks and she was six pounds, 15 ounces. So I was not sure why he was so little. And um, later on, I ended up going back and I was like, I had an appointment over a month ago and I mean, an ultrasound over a month ago and the ultrasound tech told me she thinks he's measuring small and then I went to see the doctor right afterwards and he said I don't know why she thinks he's measuring small he's measuring totally normal but for a whole month from the time the last time I had my ultrasound to my 37 week appointment he never grew he was measuring exactly the same four pounds so I'm not sure why he never grew but that worried me and between all my swelling and all the problems I was having, the doctor just brushed it off as being because it's my fourth child. So um, I was concerned, but, you know, he's fine. He's healthy. He's gaining weight now. Um, he also got um, had jaundice. Um, so he was on the Billy Rubin blanket for the whole time we were in the hospital. And his levels did not um, come down until we left the hospital. And my milk started coming in and I did supplement a little bit so that he didn't lose a whole bunch of weight. So everything's fine. He's totally healthy now. Um, his jaundice levels have gone down. 
and um, my milk came in, so I'm totally, I'm fully breastfeeding, and he's a healthy baby, and yeah, um, for all you was wondering if castor oil works and if the midwives brew works, it does. You just, you just gotta get moving, and your baby, your your body and your baby has to be ready to come out. So my baby was ready. I knew my body was ready. And, you know, you're going to have people out there be like, oh, well, why didn't you wait until 40 weeks or 39 weeks is full term? No, 37 weeks is full term. Um, as long as it's safe for you, your baby, and you get a doctor's approval. I don't see why you cannot do the midwife's brew. But anyways, enough of my rambling. Um, yeah, so like I said, my son is two weeks and two days old today, and his name is Anthony Malik, and he's a little tiny bundle of joy. I'm going to take him out the cover. He does not like to be awake or woken up. He has a head full of hair. Oh, you say hi? Oh, I know. Do you say hi? He's like, no, but yeah, he has a head full of hair. <laughs> and he is still itty bitty. Uh -huh. Do you say hi? Yeah. But I take him for weight checks um, once a week, so he's doing fine. He's gaining weight. He has a gray. He has gray eyes. We're not sure if they're gonna change, but um, it's a genetic thing that I have in my bloodline. My brother's. Uh, daughter has hazel eyes and you know him and the mother has both brown eyes don't know but it's a genetic thing so I don't know if he's gonna I'm gonna show them your eyes he's like nope someone's getting hungry but hopefully his eyes stay that color but they might change do you see hi he, oh, okay, okay. It's not that serious. You want to show the friends your eyes? He said, nope, going back to sleep. Uh, what are you doing? All right. Um, but he does wear preemie clothes, even though he's not a preemie. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So... That's my labor and delivery update. And we'll just make this my postpartum one too since it's taking me a minute to get a video up. And plus our internet's super slow where we live. They only allow two different plans um, with AT&T. So we have the highest plan for my neighborhood because we're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. And they haven't got higher Wi-Fi here. So. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my belly. We're not going to lift my shirt up because stretch marks is like no other. And I don't know. We'll see. Let me lay it down for a minute. Son. All right. So here's my belly now. Here's it from the side. Like I said, I'm not that big. And I think breastfeeding has helped. Um, and here's it from the back. Here's it from the other side. But yeah, like I said, my stretch marks. And then my scar is down here. So what they did, he said, when he got in there and the bleeding started happening, he wanted to get, he also made a, a cut through here on the inside of my uterus, I think. Yeah, to get the baby's head out, which I never understood because the baby wasn't that big to begin with, but yeah. So I don't have a rifle of being too, and this one's tied and whatnot, which I'm not concerned because I don't want any more kids. So yeah, there's the hunt. Ugh. Sorry this video is super long, um, but I just wanted to make sure I came to you guys with an update since I have not been uploading videos. And also, um, 
I have not been cleared to work out yet. Um, they do a um, test where you, if you lay on your back and you're able to lift both legs up without your C-section scar hurting, that means you're clear to work out. And I cannot pass that test. I don't know why, but I think I just need, my body needs an extra time to heal with, um, you know, losing my right fallopian tube. It does not really hurt. Surprisingly, that side does not hurt. It's the other side that hurts more. But, yeah, so I'm having troubles with my left leg lifting that one. I don't know why, but, yeah, so pretty much that's my update, and I will come to you guys back uh, again with another video later on. See you guys.